Dr. Douglas Robinson, Campbell Podiatry. I'm going to show you how I take care of a, a painful condition from seed corns located on the ball of the foot. So it's really common to see it in the forefoot area. Can you see this corn here? We'll zoom in on that. This isn't a typical callus like this is. This is a seed corn. It's known as a porokeratosis or an IPK, which stands for intractable porokeratosis. The word intractable means it's hard to get rid of. Plantar means the foot. Keratosis is a keratotic lesion. So it's like a plug. So I typically treat these conservatively by shaving it. That gives the patient immediate relief. Then I put an acid, a very strong medical acid called cantharidin or canthrone plus. I put it under occlusion. And then about four, three to six hours from now, this person's going to be instructed on soaking up to here with Epsom salts to dilute the medicine. And they will have immediate pain relief. And then they'll come to see me in two weeks so I can shave off the residual, which would be like a scab, and then they'll be good for months and months. It's hard to get these to go away once and for all. The operation for this I typically don't do because then the, the treatment is worse than the disease. It's long and arduous to recover from a procedure where we do a punch biopsy and take that out. So people that have this typically need to come in once or twice a year, or sometimes it's once every other year that they need this to be done. Kind of like getting your haircut if you need a haircut, which I don't. So this is called the seed corn. He has it underneath his fourth base at the toe. And over here, this is more classic. We see this under the fifth metatarsal. We also see it really commonly under the second metatarsal. You can get them along any weight bearing surface, but this and this are the most common. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So I've now trimmed these down. I pared them down. I used a scalpel. There's no blood. And then I bird it down with an umbrella bird. Now you can barely see the center of that on this one. And you can see a little bit more over here. What I've already done is gonna give him significant pain relief. And now I'm gonna apply this acid. The acid does not hurt right away, but if he doesn't do that soak within three to six hours, it will hurt. So when you soak it, you're diluting this. So that medicine's gonna dry. It'll start to turn a bit white. This is drying it off. And then I do this under occlusion. So I'm gonna use a medical tape directly over this to occlude it so it really penetrates. There we go. And to keep pressure off of it, you'll use some little aperture pads like this. You take the little, the little center out so that when you step down, the pressure goes to the pad rather than it being on the sensitive area. And if we do one small pad, that's a 16th of an inch, but you need more, you can actually do one on top of the other. And you soak it the one time, but if it hurts over the next couple of days, you can soak it again until the pain goes away. So he'll leave here really comfortable, relieved. He'll come back to see me in two weeks. I'll peel off the residual eschar or callus, and he'll be good for months, I hope. That's typically what happens. And these are reoccurrent lesions. So this is how I take care of porokeratosis, or they're also known as intractable plantar keratosis.